his partner, the 400-pound monster, Mr. Black. They're accompanied by not only Thurston Throckmorton, the legal beagle for bowling services, but that man, Kryptonite Crony. This is personal attorney, Thurston Throckmorton. And of course, bowling services, a special accountant, Jerome Crony. They bring to the ring, six foot two, 388 pounds, the chief of security for bowling services, Mr. Black. His partner, six foot three, 375 pounds, sexual chocolate, Mark Henry! And their opponents. Well, Mark Henry, a member of the U.S. Olympic weightlifting team in 1996, he's a World Wrestling Federation superstar, now a member of Bowling Services. He and the 400 pound director of security for Bowling Services, Mr. Black will team up in this Battle of the Giants to face the seven-foot former NFL star and graduate of the OVW Training Center, Big Russ McCullough, and his partner, a man returning to OVW, a former member of Boland Services. He was fired unceremoniously by Kenny Boland in a violent fashion. After that, he went to the World Wrestling Federation, where he has become one of the leading attractions. He returns to OVW tonight to team with his old enemy, Russ McCullough, to face his old teammate, Boland Services. Bull Buchanan is back in Ohio Valley Wrestling, OVW's first full-time WWF talent roster graduate. Bull Buchanan went to WWF uh, approximately five months ago, but he has returned here tonight to help Russ McCullough seek revenge on the, the two behemoths that Kenny Boland has in his charge, Black and Mark Henry. Tremendous ovation from the crowd here at the Rock and Rumble. The thousands that have gathered here to see the past and the future of professional wrestling. Tremendous ovation for Russ McCullough as well, who has made quite a name for himself locally in his year in OBW. But can Russ McCullough and Bull Buchanan, two men who have never tag teamed together before, can they team up to stop the freight train that is Mark Henry and Mr. Black? Introducing your opponents, seven foot, 370 pounds out of Dallas, Texas, Big Rex McCullough! And his partner, six foot eight, 313 pounds, directly from Eddieville, Kentucky, returning to the OVW, Bull Look at the physical specimens in this ring. You've got a U.S. Olympian in Mark Henry. You've got an athletic marvel in the 400-pound Mr. Black who comes off the top rope with that huge big splash like a 220-pounder. Bull Buchanan with what appear to be 24-inch arms, a tremendous physique, and Russ McCullough, the seven-foot giant that can step over the top rope in, in one step. And uh, then, of course, Talking about athletic marvels, on the other side of the coin, you've got the two most unathletic people in this building, Throckmorton and Crony at ringside, and who knows what kind of trouble they're going to attempt to cause in this tag team match. A lot riding on this one. Bowling Services' domination of OVW could, uh, could take a tremendous blow if Bull Buchanan and Russ McCullough can derail the freight train. Mark Henry backs Bull Buchanan up into the corner. No clean break from Mark Henry. He goes right to the midsection, then again to the face. Mark Henry with those huge fists. So incredibly thick and massive. Mark Henry with a kick to the midsection of Bull Buchanan. Bull trying to, trying to get untracked here, but it's very difficult against a man as, as huge and powerful as Mark Henry. Bull across the ring. Mark Henry with a clothesline. Levels the big man. Bull Buchanan stunned that this, this former prisoner at Eddyville, he holds the Kentucky State record for most forms of criminal assault. He's not a man to be taken lightly. Bull Buchanan and Mr. Black were former Southern Tag Team Champions when Buchanan was a member of Bowling Services. There's a miss on the clothesline. Now the quickness and the agility with the scissors kick of Bull Buchanan. He's so explosive. Explosive, violent, and deadly. 
That is a very dangerous combination for one human being to have, and Bull Buchanan has it. And now Russ McCullough. He's in the ring on top of Mark Henry. Sends the big man across. There's a clothesline and just knocked Mark Henry right out, right out of his boots. It was at Russ McCullough's uh, request that Bull Buchanan return to OBW to help fight the fight against Poland Services. And now Mark Henry has been dazed as well by that, that huge clothesline from the seven-footer. Folks, I'll tell you, I don't know. When, when Russ McCullough played in the NFL, I don't know whether he ever came up against anybody on the opposing line that was as, as solid and powerful and strong and, and just plain big as Mark Henry. There's a clothesline, Russ McCullough, right over the top rope to the floor. McCullough down on the uh, down on the floor trying to get his wits about himself. Referee Fred Richards officiating this match. Fred Richards, a native of New Jersey, senior referee for the National Wrestling Alliance. He came to the Rock and Rumble tonight because of the tremendous international competition. Wait a minute, Russ McCullough with a shoulder to both Black and, and Henry and a double sunset flip. Good Lord, a seven-footer with a double sunset flip on two near 400-pounders. Where else can you see that but in Ohio Valley Wrestling? And now Russ McCullough has Mr. Black. Sends the security director across. There's that big size, 18-foot. And Russ McCullough indicating he wants to make the tag to Bull Buchanan and the folks are behind it here at the Rock and Roll. Bull Buchanan back in the ring. And those vicious right hands to Black. These two former tag team partners, former Southern tag team champions, they parted in a very violent fashion right before Buchanan went to the WWF. And there's a, another leaping clothesline. The cat-like agility from the six foot eight, 313 pound Bull Buchanan. Black with a reversal misses the clothesline. Buchanan takes to the air and takes the man down again. Lateral press, Fred Richards count of one, two, almost got three and Black rolled the shoulder up in the nick of time. Buchanan sets his man, drops him with a DDT. Bull Buchanan. Attained a reputation here in OBW as being cat-like and vicious at the same time with superhuman strength and amazing agility. Wait a minute, there's Crony. Crony grabbed the leg of Buchanan, brought him down on that top rope. Buchanan was going to come off the top with that lockdown, that trademark leg drop off the top. But Jerome Kryptonite Crony, the BS accountant, turned the tide in this match and possibly could have cost the team of Buchanan and McCullough this contest. Mark Henry now with that power that comes from a, a U.S. Olympic weightlifter. Slams his man, a leaping leg drop. Count of one, two, and once again Buchanan rolls that shoulder. Mark Henry has dropped about 50 pounds since signing with the World Wrestling Federation. He's dropped quite a bit of weight since coming here to OVW to join Boland Services. Can't imagine how anybody could join up with Kenny Boland and lose weight. Appears to me Boland may have found it all, but that's beside the point, neither here nor there, as right now Mark Henry continuing to, to hammer on Bull Buchanan. Could be that Boland's not passing out those free steak and shake coupons like he used to as incentives to his boys. Other CEOs give profit sharing and stock tips. Boland gives steak and shake coupons and movie tickets to Stony Brook Cinema, but never, nevertheless, the five-minute call is made as Black takes the tag, comes into the ring, hammering Bull Buchanan. Bull Buchanan dazed, confused, and how strong, how powerful must you be to have a six-foot-eight, 313-pound sociopathic monster like Bull Buchanan in a position of of confusion. Black pulling Buchanan up to his feet just to deliver more punishment. Black, good God, a drop kick. A drop kick from the 400 pounder who only goes six feet two. And folks, that is an unorthodox physique on Mr. Black. Yes, he does look like a young version of Uncle Fester from the Adams family, but I'll tell you, this guy is dangerous. And he's 22 years old, he's only gonna get better with his agility and the way that he can move for a man of his size and his frame with proper management. Oh, a sidewalk slam there with proper management that he won't get from that shyster bowling. This man is going to be a star. And now Black 
Could have waited too long. That may have been an experience. He should have gone for that cover on the sidewalk slam. Only gets the count of two. Bull Buchanan comes out. Black makes the tag once again to Mark Henry. Mark Henry, so much more aggressive, so much more violent than we have seen in his WWF tenure. My God, look at the agility there. Mark Henry through the ropes. Trapped Bull Buchanan's head in his throat right across that second strand of cable and then landed on his feet on the floor. Could have snapped Buchanan's neck at the very least done significant damage to Buchanan's throat and his esophagus, his larynx, his Adam's apple. Buchanan firing back. Right hands, right and left. Buchanan fighting for his life here against these two monsters. But Mark Henry went to the eyes. Buchanan blinded, can't see, trying to find his corner. The tag is made again to Black, and Black lowers the boom on Bull Buchanan. There's a shot to Russ McCullough. And the big man comes in, but referee Fred Richards trying to keep him out. As now Henry and Black, a switch without benefit of tag. Referee Fred Richards all over this. The BS combo. Black and Henry have had to be very judicious in their use of illegal tactics with uh, NWA senior official Fred Richards in the ring tonight. However, they have still gotten by with enough to have Buchanan in a serious disadvantage. But wait a minute. There's an error. I can't believe anybody be that dumb. He sent the man across the ring right into his own corner. And McCullough made the tag. Russ McCullough's made the tag. A serious error on the part of Black and Henry. And two full slams on the near corner pounder. McCullough covers Black. Henry makes the save. There's Bull Buchanan back in the ring. The Giants are loose. And the Gardens is rocking here. Wait a minute. Crony's in there. Crony's on McCullough's back. Crony just... Oh my God, McCullough just snapped Crony down. He could have paralyzed him. The referee distracted, did not see Crony in this ring. McCullough sends Crony down on his face. He must have been 10 feet in the air. Now McCullough back on black. Bull Buchanan has Mark Henry. They're gonna send them together. And the two 400 pounders meet. Black goes down, Henry still on his feet. But there's a double clothesline to take Henry down. And now McCullough and Buchanan are looking good in this one. There's that big foot to Black. Bull Buchanan's on the top. Bull Buchanan is gonna fly. Look at the giant monster fly across the ring. He landed with that huge leg drop right on Black. Crony was up on the apron. McCullough throws Crony on Black. Mark Henry's been thrown from the ring. And the team of Bull Buchanan and Russ McCullough have won this one. Russ McCullough and Bull Buchanan have won this match, their first match together as a team, but they've gained a measure of revenge on Bowlin Services. Black, Henry, Brock Morton, and Crony need to regroup and head for higher ground.